Hi, I'm Eric and I'm with the Capstip Touch Team in Microship. Today I'll show you how easy it is to design a moisture tolerant touch using the Tiny817 and its peripheral touch controller. To do so, we'll use Atmos Start code configurator available online. So we open Start, we press Create New Project, we scroll down in the middleware section, enable the QTouch module library. Since we are using the Tiny817, we search for this device, select it, and we create a new project. We are using a uh, a kit called Tiny817 QTouch Moisture Demo. This kit has four self-cap kits. So we'll use the QTouch configurator in start to enable these keys. So you can either open it from the dashboard or you can go to the left side to open the QTouch configurator. This kit has four self-cap keys and it has the Dreaming Shield enabled. So the Driven Shield it use, is used for better moisture performance and on this kit it's a dedicated channel surrounding all the keys on top layer. Since Start doesn't know which keys we are using and which pins they are tied to, we need to assign this in the pin configurator. So we reset the default. For button 0 we use PA7, button 1 is PA6, button 2 is PA5, button 3 is PA4, and the driven shield channel is on PB0. In Atmos Start, you can also tune the different touch parameters like gain, series resistor, or oversampling. We provide the default settings which will give you good performance. In Atlas Start, you can also enable advanced noise handling techniques like frequency hopping. In this demo, we will not use it. To save some time, we will actually load the predefined example project from Atlas Start. So, to do so, we just exit this project, we go into Browse Examples. In the search, you can just search for QTouch and we select the QTouch Moisture Demo. Press Open, selected example. We go to the QTouch configurator in Atmos Start. You can now see it looks identical to what I just configured. However, this code also includes the LED control which needed for the demo. So let's export the project. So we'll open the project in Atmos Studio. So let's give it a new name. Tiny it's 17 Qtouch Moisture Demo. If we go into the main file, you can see the project for the Tiny817 Qtouch Moisture Demo. So I've cheated, I already built this project. So we go to the Programming tab, select the kit, we bump up the programming frequency to make progr programming go faster. program the kit. So as you can see we have good touch performance on all keys. We even have fast scan time or response time. What's even better on this kit, we have added 
moisture performance by enabling the driven shield. So if I spray the kit, you can see you don't get any false touches. Also, when you touch it with moisture on the kit, it, give, it gives you good and correct touch reporting. That's pretty cool. So that's it. That's all for me today. So thanks for watching my demo. Go out there, try it, have fun.